4,000 radio listeners and 4,000 TV watchers to go out there and tell your family, your friends, your neighbors. Just get five of them. And we got 20,000 votes and we win. Now the coach didn't ran before and the people didn't come out and vote. Out of those 38,000 registered voters in the 34th Ward, would you believe me if I tell you over 20,000 people? 26,000 people did not vote in the last election. Now if you come out and vote, the coach win. Now you gotta vote for me, Michael E. Nate. The other candidates on the ballot, one from the bottom of the poll, on the poll sheets, second one on the bottom of the poll sheet in the 34th Ward. So all of those you out there, you make sure you tell your family, you make sure you tell your friends, you make sure you tell your neighbors, the coach is running for alderman in the 34th Ward. My platform is youth, after school programs, jobs, economic development. We need a chamber of commerce in this 34th Ward to regulate. We need a chamber of commerce in this 34th Ward to regulate the businesses that come in and out and to make sure that the people of this 34th Ward is getting jobs. And we need our fair share contracts so we go have some workshops and classes going on to tell people how to become qualified vendors on the city list, on the county list, and the state list, and we go organize and we go mount people up to go down to the procurement department. And those of you that don't know what the procurement department is, that's the department that issue out the contracts. We go mobilize people that have businesses to go down to procurement for the city, for the state, and the county. And if we have to sit in that office 24-7, we go sit in there until we get contracts. Whoever the mayor is, if y'all is stupid enough to put Rahm Emanuel in there, no problem. The coach is going to make sure Rahm Emanuel, Kerr Mosley, Braun, whoever, we go mobilize, we go use the weight of this office to mobilize the people to get together and go down to these offices, city, state, and county, and we go find out from whoever the next mayor is, from Tony Prattwinkle, who's the county board president, and from our Governor Pat Quinn, why? We don't have contract coming forth, and when they give us their response, we go give them solutions and we go give them demands. And while I'm on that note with Pat Quinn, because see, Pat Quinn didn't lie to our community, and this little go come up for re-election in four more years, and we go send Pat Quinn a firm message, because I, I, I listened to Jesse Jackson Jr., Congressman Jesse Jackson Jr., Make his plea for Governor Pat Quinn to sign the legislator for this third airport. And Pat Quinn reneged on this pledge for third airport. He have not signed it. And those you need to call Pat Quinn's number. He, you need to call the governor's office. Pick up the number to the state governor. No, I don't have it in front of me. But pick up the number to the governor's office. But get the number to Springfield. But call 411, the state of Illinois, and ask for the governor's office. Or call Congressman Jesse Jackson Jr. often and ask for the number to call the governor. And ask the governor, when is he going to sign this bill? You see, the coach come on this show, and I may have my guns cocked against our leadership and our preachers about what they're doing and not doing in our community, or should be doing, to better our community. But I'm going to applaud them when they do what they're supposed to. And I'm applauding Congressman Jesse Jackson Jr. for his fight, his integrity, to get this third airport built. And we go send Pat Quinn. I called the governor's office to find out when was he going to sign the legislature. And I called to express my support for this third airport, the Piatone Airport, and for the development that Cindy Jackson, the 7th Ward Army, proposed over there on the lakefront. I, I embrace that type of development because it's going to create jobs and opportunities for our community. I, I applaud that. I want to see more of our leaders doing it. We need to call Pat Quinn. We need to let Pat Quinn but know. You brought your buddy in our community. You got on WVON and lied to us about what you was going to do. And you support the third airport. And you look forward to it in your turn. You lied because you ain't signed the bill. And we're going to make Pat Quinn accountable. For this stuff, we got to stop politicians coming in our community because Pat Quinn would not win for governor if it was not for the black vote. And Pat Quinn has no accountability, feel he has no accountability. I listened to Congressman Jesse Jackson Jr. on Operation Push on Channel 36 on a Saturday morning say that they met with Pat Quinn's chief of staff or his spokesman on the third airport and the governor didn't even bother to show up. He was at other meetings. It wasn't a priority to him. 
But you know what? He got an office. But I tell you what, he go bring his little stench butt back in our community, talking that stuff. I marched with Dr. King, and Mahalia Jackson was a friend of mine when she lived over here and lived over there, and drop all these names, and we go drop his butt right out of office when he come back into our community, because I'm tired. Of folks coming in our community and not being a hell accountable. And Pat Quinn right now has lied to our community by saying he support this third airport and he looked forward to sign because he ain't did it and he ain't made no actions on it. I want you to know that. So I applaud Congressman Jesse Jackson Jr. for his effort. I don't like Congressman Jesse Jackson. Well, you may not like him, but if he's doing something that's going to create jobs in our community, he got my support. If he got a plan for development of this lakefront, if it take him 20 years to get it done, we need development. We need jobs, 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 jobs. And this show, we go put pressure on the governor too. So y'all get that number. Y'all call the governor's office. Y'all call Congressman Jesse Jackson's office and find out what's the number to call the governor and y'all flood his office. Tell him the coach told y'all to call so he know that he got an ally over here in this corner. So we have social and economic conditions in our community, but as we go through this new decade, as we go through this new era, we have to make demands and we have to make people accountable. We'd have been preached to, we'd have been talked to, we'd have been lied to long enough in our communities, and we need change. We're, lo we're looking at our babies going to jail. We're looking at crime in our community, and the fact of the matter is all this change, if you bring about social and economic dollars in our community. So you remember out there in Radio Land, and you remember out there in TV Land, that the coach is running for Alderman in 34th Ward, and I need your vote, I need you to tell your family, I need you to tell your friends, I need you to tell them all to get out and vote. Vote early, vote often. Don't forget to tune into our website at www.memaiden.com, or you can tune in at mem247. Dot com, And you can see highlights of this show, you can see shows that have not aired yet, and you can see highlights of shows that are already aired. Just log on to our website to keep informed. And remember, the coach come on at different dates and time. All you have to do is log on to our website and look for the coach TV schedule and link on to it and you know every date and time that the coach is on TV. Remember, I need your vote. I need your vote. This is crunch time. We're in the month of February. And I'm depending on you and radio and TV land to bring the coach through the victory.